Coming up next, it's time for the man who can grow anything big and strong. It's Gardening with Maurice, broadcasting live from his garden. Howdy doodles, this is Gardening with Maurice, and I am Maurice. Ever since man was kicked out of the garden, he's been striving to get back in. I believe all of life's answers can be found in something as simple as a flower. It's stamen, it's pistol, it's pollen, just like me and you. We're going to the phones. Hello, you're on Gardening with Maurice. I am Maurice. Go ahead, call her. Uh, yes, thanks for having me on. I'm a big fan. Uh, I have a question. My melons aren't big enough. I thought they were going to keep growing, but they just stopped. My next-door neighbor has huge melons, and everyone just fawns over them. Oh, they taste so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do I do? Ooh, I would love to see your melons. Look, gardening is a spiritual light journey where you become one with nature. However, sometimes nature needs some chemicals to, you know, kind of kick things into action. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitera Zimi. Uh, it needs to be injected with a needle, so be very, very careful, and inject that right into your melons, and they will grow enormous. Thanks so much, Maurice. You're the best. Yes, I know. I know that. I've been at one with nature for so long now, I can't remember what it's like to sleep inside. <laughs> Next caller. God, I was on hold forever. Uh, I've heard that facials are great really make you look younger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should know. When you look like a train wreck, you need a little makeup or some such. You sound like a lonely spinster with two pussies. Cats. It's the menopause, Maurice. I'm having hot flashes, okay? Taking a pause from men, huh? You know, I should try that. For your face, try nature's cosmetic camouflage. Cleopatra took milk baths with cereal each morning. Try tomatoes, too. The acid is great. It makes your face just peel right off. Hey, thanks, Maurice. That's me, fertilizing minds. Enough of you voyeurs out there and your vicarious gardening. I I want you to join in on the fun when you stick your hands in the mystery of nature and you pull out a worm or a tuber. God, I love tubers. So plump and juicy. Hello, Mike from Prickle Pine in Los Venturas. Hey, Maurice. First time caller. My name's Mike. I work on my lawn and garden all weekend long because I got this raging Oedipus complex. And I like drinking beer and riding around on the lawnmower, too, because, you know, the vibrations are kind of cool. But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm. I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Listen, I want you to listen to me. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, good. That was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Mark. Now, listen up. Listen closely. I want you to pave over your entire yard. Okay? I want you to just pave it over with cement or ass fault or whatever. Listen, I have the Maurice Mansion completely covered in astroturf inside and outside, which, by the by, is particularly handy when some big football players come over and we have a little midnight match of ultimate disc in the yard. Now, when your lawn is beautiful and green all year long, you can focus on the important matters if you get my drift. You see, Gardening with Maurice is sponsored by the Happy Farmer. Yahoo! If you're afraid someone will steal your tomatoes, why not grow tomatoes in your closet indoors like me? The Happy Farmer, hydroponics, and more. Next door to Blotto's. I'm Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. And now, the number one show for vegetables on the radio, Gardening with Maurice. Okay, we are back in the garden. I'm Maurice, and we must answer nature's call. Going to the phones. Greetings, garden lover. What's your name? Hi, my name's Trish. Okay, is that short for Patricia? Uh, yeah. Oh, then what I asked is what your name was, not the nickname your skinhead boot-wearing friends call you at the rallies. Maybe you should do less drugs and learn to try a bit harder. Next caller! Hi, my name is Colleen, and my husband has a topiary problem. Ooh, this sounds serious. 
Well, he started off small scale, just recreational usage, you know, doing horses and cockerels, the odd unicorn, but it's kind of gotten out of control. Hmm, how so? He just can't stop. I mean, people think it's all fun and games, but what happens when the party stops? What happens then? Okay, just, just hold the phone, hold the phone and get a grip, okay? At my house, when the party stops, we pay the gimp, get rid of the sailors, and 15 men start crying in unison. Well, that's your business. My husband's reached bottom. It's terrible. Giraffes, lions, elephants, rhinos, all of them carved out of hedges. Penguins, dogs, velociraptors, you name it, he's made a leafy version. What could be more natural than a man trimming a hedge into the shape of an animal? Very therapeutic. Makes a man feel like a god. When you can twist nature to your own perverse entertainment, then you know we've won. Eat me, Darwin. But now he's trimming bushes into a spaceship, a rocket, and a lance. He runs around with hedge clippers and screams, Trim that bush at our neighbors. He even fashioned a shrub into a kangaroo with a pouch, and he sleeps inside it some nights. Oh, he's freaking out on bush. He needs help. Please, you gotta help me. I hate hedges. Well, the Romans loved topiary, and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, then you bang his college son when the dad's out of town. Okay, next caller. Whoops, hold on a second, I'm blossoming. There we go, all done. My name's Henry. I want... Are you blossoming? I, uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I joined a cult and began tithing money in exchange for spiritual happiness and letting everyone take turns on my wife. Anyway, I have a lovely garden, mostly carnivorous plants. A Venus flytrap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel or a small horse if I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiments on human beings? Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the height of beauty and potential, it is time for it to wither and die. A bit like the British Empire. Because look at that whole place withering and dying right before our eyes. It's run by a queen. And if she had a pistol, she'd be the king. Luckily, in this country, we don't know the meaning of the word hubris. But hell, I'm all over the place here. It's so easy to get out of control when you're doing something that comes natural. Line two, you're on gardening with Maurice. Yeah, my name is Terrence. Can I call you Telly Welly? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm growing flowers, but sometimes I get really angry and fly off the handle and commit herbicide. I don't mean to. I say, I didn't mean it, baby. You'll be all right. Then I cry and wear a diaper for two days. A flower is nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished. Like a life support machine or, or a cigarette, which I won't be able to smoke anymore if the fascists in the state government have anything to say about it with that damn Proposition 421. Tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it like coal and opium. Next caller. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your nuts off because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, so many vegetables on this show. Tards. Yeah, that guy was talking about bugs and plants that eat them. I got a better solution. Put pesticide in the sprinklers. My kids love it. I mean, the ones that live. Oh, lovely. You're a lovely human being, you fucking imbecile. You morons in this town are spreading like weeds. Like little bastard dandelions. I wish I could just pop every one of your... Goddamn heads off. Hello, Line 8. You're on Gardening with Maurice. Yeah, I heard what you said about bonsai trees. And you know what? You can stick that green thumb right up your ass. <laughs> oh, yes! Another man who grows miniature plants so he can feel like a giant. A real man loves enormous trees that he can have his way with. 
chopping them down and using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time. Literally. But again, like a seed sown in a hurricane or a mushroom spore from outer space, the garden goes on. I'm Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sycophant? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next caller, hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. And the sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a Morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it stink so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Pesticides. Exploring damp gopher holes. My new walk-in closet. What's on your mind about gardening? Tubers and, and root vegetables. Oh, God, not you again. Is it okay to cut the eyes out of a potato and eat it? Well, why don't I come over and cut your eyes out and eat you? What a silly question. If you purchase the Gardening with Maurice calendar, it's in the August section, next to the picture of the firefights and the cute Pomeranian puppy. Yeah, I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked and in a different garden, and the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen, if you're ashamed of your human body, then keep your clothes on. I am blossoming in those pictures, and I wanted to capture it on film. But I happen to be proud of my human body as much as I am proud of my flowers. When they are blossoming, I like to take pictures of them. When I'm blossoming, I like to take pictures of it. Next caller. Hi. I live here in Bone County, and I can't get nothing to grow. Have you had any children? I sure do. I got seven kids, and some of them's got the same daddy. Well, look, you've grown something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, thanks, Maurice. I am right. And I'm Maurice on Gardening with Maurice. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR.